Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen, AKA Final Cut Steph, back with more free 4K effects just for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and use reflections from Rampant's Film and Light category. And these effects are so crazy popular, they have been downloaded almost 3 million times. So let's have a quick look at the reflections before I show you where to download and how to use them. So now that you're excited about adding reflections to your video content, head on over to 4kfree.com to download. That's the number four, the letter K, free.com. Once there, all you need to do is enter your name and email address, and then click on this button that says click here to download. If you've been here before, you're gonna automatically be redirected to the free download page. If you have not been here before, you'll need to check your email and confirm that you actually signed up. Once you confirm that sign up, then you'll be taken to the free download page. Now, once you're on the free effects page, feel free to scroll through all of the content here. All of this is free, it's all 4K and it's just for you. So download what you want. We're talking about reflections, which can, which can be found under the rampant film and light category and it's right here. And to download, all you simply, all you need to do is click on this button that says click here to download free effects and it will start downloading. You can also click on this other button right here and this is gonna take you to the reflections product page. It's gonna give you more information, show you how we use reflections in our promo videos, and then if you wanna purchase more, you can do that. Now before I show you how to use reflections, I first wanna point out these, are, these effects can be used on a Mac or PC, and the other thing I wanna point out is that these effects are MOV files and can be used in any editing software that reads ProRes. I will be showing you how to use these effects in Final Cut Pro 10, but feel free to stop this video here, go download the free effects for yourself, and start editing in the software of your choice. And if you are looking for more training, Head on over to our YouTube channel and see all the training we have, including training for Adobe Premiere, Avid, HitFilm, Resolve, and so many more. So let's get started with using these reflections in Final Cut Pro 10. And I've already downloaded everything and unzipped everything, and I'm gonna show you right here. Here are my reflections, and there are four of them in this pack. And to import them is really simple. So inside Final Cut, you need to right click, create a new event, name your event whatever you want. You can say reflections, and then bring back up wherever you've downloaded those reflections highlight them all, drag them in, and drop them. Now all of our free effects have been in, imported into uh, Final Cut and are ready to be used. Now I already have some footage in my timeline down here. What I wanna point out is that all of this footage is 1080. It's all HD, it's 1920 by 1080 footage, but my effects are 4K, can I still use them? Yes, you can. What the 4K size is gonna allow you to do is gonna have you lot, allow you to have more room to play, so you're gonna be able to reposition, rotate, and all that stuff, and I'm gonna show you how that works in just a second. So how do we use these? Well, it's really simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to our effects. We're gonna scrub through them, find one that we like. I think this pink one will look nice. You're gonna grab it, drag it, and drop it in. That's the very first step. Now, the next step is, I'm gonna just shrink this up just a little bit. The next step we have to do is come up to our inspector, and we have to blend this in. So we're gonna change this from normal to screen, and then if you look right here, you can see this white line. If I change this back to normal, you can see it really easy. Right here, we're gonna have to fix the sizing next. Let's change this back to screen. And then to fix this sizing right here, you're gonna come down to spatial conform and you're gonna change this from fit to either fill or none. Fill is gonna fill it to your HD frame and none's a lot gonna allow you to have the 4K size. Let's start with the HD and then I'll explain 4K in just a second. So we're gonna fill that. And then if I rewind this, It looks nice. Maybe I need to cut some of this beginning out since it doesn't really start until right there. So let's chop some of this off, rewind that, and then extend it out. All right, let's try that one again. It looks awesome. It's this really nice reflection, and these are real. These were shot by Sean and myself with a camera, with lenses, to give you the best overall overlay. And it looks so pretty. I love it. All right, now let's talk about this 4K size really fast before we move on. And to, to illustrate the 4K size, I'm gonna zoom out of our project just a little bit, just like that. And I wanna click on my HD part, and I wanna show you down here. I wanna show you that this fits. So if you look at this bounding box right here, this is my frame, okay? And you will see this footage was actually 2K, so I've actually even shrunk it down to fit inside HD, which is really cool. So all I've done on my footage is filled it. So here's my fill. If I said none, or if I said fit, it's gonna be shorter, right? So if I say fill, it's gonna be in my HD frame. Now let's take a look at that 4K effect. 
If I look at it right now, well, it looks the same. It looks like it's still being fit in there. Well, it is because our spatial conform over here is set to fill. If I change this from fill to none, look at that. Now you see the entire native 4K size. Now, if I go to a position here where we can see the reflection, maybe right here, now we can move this around. So maybe we want more of the reflection, so I can rewind that. Covers the whole frame, or maybe I want a little less. So you have ultimate area here to play and sort of make the effect do exactly what you want. You can also take this back, you can rotate it. So maybe I wanted to rotate it 90 degrees and play that through for you. It looks completely different. Or maybe we want to, we don't want to scale it down all the way, but we want to scale it down just a little bit. All of these possibilities can happen and, and the possibilities really are infinite. You can do whatever you want to do with the, this clips. And I love that. And that's what the 4K size can do. So even if you're working at HD, you can still use 4K effects and they look amazing. So let's go ahead and reset all of this stuff back. So we're good to go. And I'm gonna put this back on fill and then let's zoom back in. And here's our clip again. And I love the way that reflection looks, okay? So let's move on, let's add another clip. Let's go here. And we get, I want to show you this. We get a lot of people ask, what do I need to use these effects on? What, what is a good footage? Well, I'm going to show you four different types of footage and the possibilities really are endless. It's up to you how you want to use them in your footage, what they want to look like and all that stuff. So as you can see here, this is sort of more like, you know, feel good, maybe commercial look right here. Now let's move on. This is fitness. Okay. We have this really nice fitness yoga shot. So let's go ahead and add a reflection to this. Let's go up here to our, and let's look at all, let's scroll through. And I like this one. This one's really nice. Let's go ahead and drag that down. All you do is grab it, drag it. And I want to do the same thing. See, all right. I'm going to come up here to our inspector. Whoops. Make sure you can see it. Change the blend mode from normal to screen. And then we just need to change the spatial conform to fill or none. For this time, I'm going to try fill first. Let's roll it through. And it's so pretty, it's so natural. And then all I need to do now is just shrink that up. Let's play it through one more time. And like I said, these are real reflections. They're not generated, that's why they look so good. And I love the way it looks. This is fitness footage and it looks amazing. It just sort of gives it that little pop, right? So you have boring footage here. It's nice, shot well, it looks good. But you add this reflection to it and all of a sudden it gives it like this, this action, this pop. I love it. And that's so easy. So let's go ahead and do it to our next footage. Our next footage here is, is a wedding footage. Okay. So let's go up, grab a clip. I'm going to choose, let's see. I'm, I like, I like this clip. Let's choose this one, drag it down, drop it on. It's the same for every clip, right? So let's shrink it up. Then we're going to go to our inspector, change the blend mode from normal to screen and then change our fit to fill. Again, if you want it to be 4K, you change that to none. And then we roll this through. And maybe I want that reflection. It doesn't actually come in until right there. So maybe I want to shrink this up, move it down, move this around. So now let's try it. And I love the way that looks. It looks like there's light bouncing off the water and it's just coming across. It's so pretty. I love the way these look and that's so easy. So let's keep going. Let's try it on this next clip. And this next one's like, maybe this is I I don't know. I don't know. Kind of looks like a horror movie to me. I don't wouldn't want to be stuck in here, but whatever kind of clip this is, it's sort of an action shot. Let's go ahead and add a reflection. So let's go up. We haven't used this first one yet. So let's go up here, grab it, drag it, drop it. We can cinch it up. Then we need to go to our inspector, change the blend mode from normal to screen, and then the spatial conform to fill. Let's rewind that. And it looks really good. And again, you can mess with the timing. So maybe we want it doesn't really start till right there. So let's shrink that up. Let's move it around. Let's play it again. And that looks great. And maybe I don't want this to be green, right? So see how it's kind of a green color. Maybe I want it to sort of match the color in here. Well, that's really easy. Come over to your effects panel. If you don't have this up, you can click right here. And you're going to go to color and then you're going to come down to tint and we're going to add a tint to this reflection just like that. 
And right now you'll see it's been tinted purple, but if we double click on our color here, and I zoom this through, maybe I wanna grab this brown. I can grab my eyedropper, come over here, grab this brown color. Maybe we wanna make it just a little bit brighter and put this brown color in here. And now, if I rewind this, now that color, the actual light matches. And then of course I can come in here and I can work with the opacity. Maybe, I, maybe it's too bright, maybe it's distracting. Just like that. So the possibilities are completely endless. And that's that. Now you know how to add these reflections to your video content. So definitely go give them a try and let me know what you think about them. Leave a comment below and definitely share this with your friends. Also, if you don't wanna miss the next free effects tutorial, click on that blue R in the bottom corner and subscribe to our channel. We run on love and we love each and every one of you. That's all I have to share today. I hope to see you back real soon. I'm Final Cut Steph from RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.